Tracker 59. Good morning, everyone. I'm Storm Tracker 59 meteorologist Alita Donnelly. Now we're starting off your Monday with a few showers and also some patchy, dense fog across the area. Now our fog tracker is showing that many of us will be encountering the fog this morning, which means you're going to want to add extra time onto your morning commute and also make sure to slow down. Now what we're also seeing is plenty of fog, even in the area where our fog tracker isn't showing that fog right now. So definitely make sure to add the few extra minutes. Now temperatures aren't too bad across the area as we are seeing the low 60s to mid 60s across the area. So you won't be needing that jacket this morning, but you will want to grab those umbrellas because the Storm Tracker 59 HD dual live Doppler radar shows we are dealing with some of these scattered showers moving through the area. Now most of the heaviest of the rain is going to stay outside of the mountain state, but we will still be dealing with some of these bands sliding through as a warm front does move further to the east. So We'll be dealing with some of this rain this morning. Most of those thunderstorms, though, will also remain to our west and south. So all good news there is we're not expecting any heavy downpours, but you will want to grab those umbrellas just because of that rain threat that will linger for the first half of your Monday. So we are unfortunately going to see plenty of moisture being funneled in from the Gulf of Mexico, and that's why we will be dealing with some of that rain potential. The severe weather threat is way out to our west, so all good news there because we're not expecting any of that. So we'll be dealing with some of these showers this morning, even into your early afternoon. So unfortunately, we do remain underneath the gray and gloomy skies as we head through your Monday. Isolated showers possible this evening, but we will be seeing more of that chance of rain once we get into your Tuesday morning, because that's because when that warm front finally slides to the north. Now we will see some pockets of sunshine moving in as we head through your Tuesday, but we'll also be seeing that chance of some showers firing up as we head through the afternoon, most of the rain does remain out to our west. Unfortunately, that's when things change as we head into Wednesday, as we'll see a cold front getting ready to slide into the area. And that does bring back that potential of seeing some thunderstorms sliding through. But as of today, we're not expecting severe weather just yet. All good news there. Some lingering showers into your Thursday morning, but by the time many of us do wake up on Thursday, we'll be dealing with that patchy fog and a high pressure system will be sliding in, which means we will be seeing plenty of sunshine, but we'll also be seeing those temperatures heating up as we head into the end of the week. 78 your high today, 79 tomorrow, 82 by Wednesday, 83 by the time we get to Thursday, 86 on Friday. Once we get to the weekend, 88 and hot and muggy once we head into Sunday as well. So we will continue to keep that sunshine around. But Katie, unfortunately, this weekend is going to mainly look like a good one to jump into the pool or even the lake to get a little bit of relief from the heat and make sure to stay hydrated. All right, sounds like a plan.